When the internet was first created by we physicists, it was male, it was hierarchical, it was to dominate over the Soviet Union. Why did the Pentagon give us millions of dollars to create the internet? It wasn't so that you could email your friends. That's not why we physicists created the internet. It was created to dominate a nuclear war with Russia. A network that literally can't be hacked just ran for 17 days straight without a single breach. Not because of advanced software, but because the laws of physics themselves make it impossible to spy on. Using particles of light that self-destruct when observed, Deutsche Telekom just demonstrated what experts are calling the first real-world quantum internet. Renowned physicist Michio Kaku warned us years ago, once quantum technology matures, today's internet will become dangerously obsolete, and we won't even realize how vulnerable we are until it's too late. That moment, it just arrived. The quantum revolution Kaku predicted isn't coming. It's already here, and it's about to change everything we know about secure communication. What sounds like science fiction is already happening in major cities worldwide. In Berlin, Deutsche Telekom and quantum startup Kunect just completed a groundbreaking field test, distributing entangled photons across 30 kilometers of real-world fiber network infrastructure. For 17 consecutive days, they maintained quantum connections with 99% fidelity. This wasn't protected by passwords or encryption software. It was secured by the fundamental laws of quantum physics. But Berlin isn't alone. In New York City, Connect's Gotham Q network ran a quantum fiber loop with an astonishing 99.84% uptime across 34 kilometers of standard telecom fiber. The system transmitted half a million entangled photon pairs every second, each pair mathematically impossible to intercept without detection. Even more shocking, China has already taken quantum communication to space. Their Mischus satellite has demonstrated global quantum links, enabling intercontinental secure communications that cannot be compromised by conventional hacking methods. These aren't prototypes in laboratories or theoretical papers. These are functioning networks operating in our cities right now. And the data they transmit? Completely untappable. You can't intercept it. You can't clone it. You can't even observe it without instantly breaking the quantum connection, alerting both sender and receiver that someone tried to listen in. But this creates a chilling reality. If quantum communication networks are this secure, what happens to every government, corporation and organization still using the classical internet? What happens when secrets protected by today's best encryption suddenly become an open book to whoever controls these quantum systems first? The encryption meltdown Kaku warned us about. Years before these breakthroughs hit the headlines, theoretical physicist Michio Kaku sounded the alarm. At the Andacom Technology Forum in 2012, he predicted we would enter a quantum era by around 2020 an era where traditional silicon-based computing would reach its limits and quantum technologies would fundamentally transform our digital landscape. In his 2023 book, Quantum Supremacy, and subsequent interviews, Kaku warned that quantum computers would soon crack every form of conventional encryption, rendering our current security protocols useless. At an AT&T conference keynote that same year, he described it as a winner-takes-all race. The first nation or company to fully harness quantum technology could dominate the market and a significant portion of the world economy. These weren't just theoretical concerns. They're playing out in real time. J.P. Morgan Chase, one of the world's largest financial institutions, now transmits its most sensitive data over a high-speed quantum key distribution network connecting their data centers. When banks that control trillions in assets start adopting technology, you know it's not experimental anymore. The U.S. Department of Energy has connected major national laboratories with quantum links through its Chicago Quantum Exchange establishing a 52-mile quantum testbed for secure networking between universities and research facilities. 
Meanwhile, China has invested over $15 billion in building a nationwide quantum backbone spanning 12,000 kilometers, including two quantum satellites. This isn't just a technological upgrade, it's a strategic imperative in what security experts describe as a new cold war over information control. If you're shocked by these revelations about quantum internet technology that's already transforming security as we know it, don't forget to subscribe. We bring you the latest scientific and technological breakthroughs you won't hear about anywhere else, every week before they hit the mainstream. Hit that subscribe button now to stay ahead of these world-changing developments. The quantum revolution isn't slowing down, it's accelerating. What's happening now makes the early developments look like warm-up exercises. The U.S. Department of Energy has unveiled a comprehensive blueprint to connect all 17 of its national laboratories with quantum links, creating the world's first national-scale quantum internet backbone. This isn't a proposal for some distant future. The infrastructure is already being built, starting with connections between facilities in Illinois and the surrounding states. Across the Atlantic, Germany and France aren't just experimenting anymore. They're launching fully operational citywide quantum networks. Deutsche Telekom's successful 17-day test is just the beginning of a metropolitan quantum infrastructure that will soon connect government facilities, financial institutions and critical infrastructure. China is pushing even further into space-based quantum communications. After the success of their Mishus satellite in 2016, they launched the more advanced Jinan-1 satellite in 2022, and a third quantum satellite is planned for deployment by 2025-2026. These orbital platforms will create a global quantum network immune to traditional hacking methods, fundamentally changing the landscape of international information security. Remember, this isn't theoretical technology or even a prototype system. These quantum networks are already operational, already transmitting data and already reshaping the rules of the Internet as we've known it. The transition from experiments to everyday infrastructure is happening now and whoever controls this technology first gains an unprecedented advantage in the global information landscape. Cybersecurity is about to be rewritten. Here's the reality that cybersecurity experts are racing to address. Our entire digital infrastructure, from banking to healthcare to national defense, relies on encryption standards that quantum computers will soon break wide open. A single, large-scale quantum computer could crack the RSA and ECC encryption that protects virtually all Internet traffic online banking, digital signatures, and classified communications. This isn't speculative. Chinese laboratories have already used a D-Wave quantum machine to break components of the advanced encryption standard, demonstrating that even our most sophisticated security protocols have vulnerabilities to quantum attacks. The looming threat is so severe that security agencies worldwide have a name for it. Store now, decrypt later, Foreign intelligence services are already harvesting encrypted data they can't yet read, knowing that once their quantum capabilities mature, they'll unlock everything they've collected. But there's a solution emerging. Quantum Key Distribution, or QKD. This technology uses the same quantum principles that threaten current encryption to create theoretically unhackable communication channels. Unlike traditional encryption that relies on mathematical complexity, QKD security is based on fundamental physics. When quantum keys are exchanged between two points, the laws of quantum mechanics ensure that any attempt to intercept or measure these keys immediately disturbs their quantum state. This disturbance is instantly detectable, alerting both sender and receiver that someone tried to listen in. Major financial institutions and telecom operators are already spending billions on QKD infrastructure. Network World reports that QKD networks are already deployed across the US, Europe and China. Not as experiments, but as operational security systems protecting high-value communications today.
the quantum Cold War. What we're witnessing isn't just a technological evolution. It's a geopolitical power struggle that security analysts are comparing to a new Cold War. The nation that controls the quantum internet first will gain unprecedented advantages in military intelligence, economic security, and global influence. China has established a commanding early lead. Their quantum strategy is explicit and ambitious, creating an unhackable national communications network while developing the capability to compromise everyone else's systems. With their Mishus satellite, oh, Jinan 1 follow-up and 12,000 kilometer quantum fiber backbone, they've invested approximately $15 billion in quantum technologies, far outpacing other nations. The United States has recognized this challenge and responded with the National Quantum Initiative, establishing a blueprint for America's quantum internet through the Department of Energy. The Chicago Quantum Exchange has become the center point of this effort, connecting major research universities and national laboratories in a growing quantum network. U.S. officials have also implemented export controls on quantum technologies, treating them as critical national security assets. The European Union has countered with its Quantum Internet Alliance, funding multi-city quantum network pilots and research hubs. Countries like Germany, France and the UK are developing independent quantum capabilities while collaborating on continental scale initiatives. This isn't merely about technological prestige. Whoever controls the quantum internet will have a decisive advantage in gathering intelligence while protecting their own secrets. They'll possess the means to secure their financial systems while potentially compromising others. As Merrick's analysts have documented, quantum networking represents a strategic frontier in global competition one that could reshape international power dynamics for decades to come. We're not talking about the future. This battle is happening now, and the winner will control the foundation of digital civilization for the next generation. The quantum race has entered its most critical phase, and the stakes couldn't be higher. 24-7 quantum networks are now a reality. Until